Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to be here this evening. A little bit of trouble getting here. I was in London. Actually, I was in the countryside in England about a month ago with my dog, and I was attacked by 53 cows, the result of which was broken ankle, broken knee, three ribs, and a dislocated shoulder. But I made it here tonight because I really wanted to be here. I, um, <laughs> I am the uh, chairman of uh, Inery Blockchain. And um, on their behalf, a few words. This, uh, this blockchain reminds me a little bit of um, where I was 30 years ago, starting a mobile telephone company called Orange. Very, very few people believed in it. A lot of people, yes, a lot of people know, but the people who did not believe in mobile telephones were the major telephone companies. In fact, they started to think it was opposition, but they really didn't believe in it. And um, I started a little company, well, it wasn't so little, $300 million, we started Orange. And uh, it was a bit of a disaster. The telephones in those days were the size of a bottle of wine. It cost about $3,000. In Hong Kong, we had 30,000 customers. But it picked up. And 10 years later, we sold it for $32 billion. So I think blockchain is a little bit like that. We are on the threshold of something really, really big. There are those who doubt. There are those who couple it too closely to cryptocurrencies and so on. Blockchain will be a huge, huge success in the future. And it will take a bit of time. I remember I worked for uh, the richest man in Hong Kong. His name was Lee Ka Shing, KS Lee. I was his uh, managing director, and he never really believed in the mobile telephone himself. And when we started, I was sitting in the back of a car with him, and he, um, he got a telephone call. And then he put the telephone down and switched it off. And I said, KS, why are you switching off your telephone? He said, Simon, I got to pay. All the calls coming in, I have to pay. I don't want the calls coming in. I said, KS, that's the whole point of the mobile phone. The people who are calling you, maybe on their regular line phone, but you are receiving calls outside your office wherever you go. That's why you have to pay. Anyway, years later, we launched a satellite in China. And this satellite was going to be for television. And we had television all over uh, Asia, even in North Africa, and so on. But we discovered we could do telephone calls from this satellite as well. This is, this is 30 years ago. And one day, I'm in England, and I'm, um, I'm starting our first call for a mobile phone through a satellite phone. And I said to him, KS, you are going to make the first mobile call by satellite ever. And he said, Simon, I don't believe go by satellite. No, no, call, go by satellite. Impossible. I said, this is going by satellite, and you're going to make the call. So he didn't believe it, and I sent one of our guys to the next door. I said, Rick, you go next door, and we will dial you. And I shut the door. And I gave KS Lee the phone. And I said, dial, I'll dial for you. I dialed Rick Seaman's number, and KS took the call, the first call by satellite phone. He said, hello, Wick? Wick, is that you? Wick, can you hear me? Ah, hello, Wick, how are you? I said, OK, there you are. You've made the first call. And he said, no, no, Simon, I don't believe this. I hear him through the wall, not through the satellite. So because he could hear him through the wall, he thought that was it. Anyway, that was early doubters days in mobile telephones. And we're a little bit there today with blockchain. Blockchain has its doubts, has its doubters. It's going to be there, data. That is the future. 
I'm very, very happy to be here. And again, on behalf of um, Ironry Blockchain, thank you for inviting me. I think I'm going to come and live in Abu Dhabi. It's better than England. There don't seem to be any cows here. Thank you.